a claim as well to being another strong state in that subregion. Seems like a tiny East Coast is popping off. Hell yeah. And now we got North Carolina versus New York, so as East Coast as it gets. Two states that touch the water. Yeah. Oh, okay. Going to be the first opening on the part of Wasabi. Yeah, and this should be a matchup Stretch should be at least familiar with. Playing with the likes of Benya, Professor MBW. So, should not be unfamiliar in this territory. Yeah, not at all. Like, and not even just on a hand to hand level, but he's also got plenty of Mr. E versus Benya footage to watch on the regular. So, uh, can't imagine it's too hard for him to study this matchup or even out of reach because you already know where to find it. House of 2000, baby, YouTube.com. Yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> Get that sub, it won't cost you a dollar. Save the dollar for a uh, donation to the charities that this event supporting. And wow, all right, Wasabi opening up big, man. Only 65% on that first stock. Just showcasing a lot of the strengths Greninja has in this matchup, namely speed, low profiling, and whiff punishing. Yeah, that down throw up. And waiting for the air dodge. Really good of stretch. And that's like what stretch is also known for. It goes up these auto shields. He likes to use them the second he touch the shield. Yeah, definitely one of the strongest out of shield options in the entire game. It hits hard, it's partially invincible, it's super fast, and it's got a good hitbox. God help you if you miss it, though. <laughs> yeah. But, All right. you notice there, Stretch did use it to get onto that platform, trying to just like, reduce the end lag on puppets. We got such whoa he up aired out of shield greninja's dash attack how does that even hit him i don't know man i've never seen that but now i might need to take that i think even fair goes over his head against dash attack whoa yeah. that parry into up b all right stretch taking it a level further reggie's like yo you think my up b is out of shield or nice how about off the parry <laughs> yo stretch always evolving with his gameplay okay keeping it close wow going for shield breaker i feel like he probably wanted dancing blade it might have just slipped off the stick or something, but Might've, either way. But he, but he did see that um, Asabi was shielding in those situations, so it could have been on purpose. That right. time he just got to roll. Oh, such a good tech chase on the getup attack. I love when players do that. It's so smart. Jump over it. And you can also, like, you know, just cross up the side at which it's going to hit you and avoid it entirely and then get a really juicy punish. Stretch didn't get the follow up off the dare, but still, the setup was what counted. Yeah, definitely something in the now. And another down tilt up smash that the ninja tried and true. Yeah, and Lucina just also the perfect weight and fall speed for that. It feels very reliable on her at kill for sense. Up B to break some pressure. I like it. Taking a risk, but paid off for him so far. And there you go, Wasabi. Not really sure which way to go uh, in terms of punishing that up B. You get the platform mix up. It seems very two dimensional, but like it's harder than you think to cover yeah. both of those options. Yeah, it wow. Seems like he's doing a lot of us matches. Probably he wants a lot of us kills. But due to the environment, he's not able to get that stick out time. All right, Stretch looking for the kill here. He's on the hunt, on the prowl. Oh, the parries, though. Yeah, Wasabi just taking some really key defensive actions here that are saving his skin. Oh, the tech chase? Okay, had to go for up air. Back air may have overshot him to the right. It would have killed, but I like that by stretch. Just take whatever hit you can get rather than whiffing something just because it would have killed. And the early up beat to hit him off. He, it got him off the, like, the ledge trap situation. Yeah, you need to do that sometimes, right? Just like threaten them with the hitbox, throw it a little sooner than they expect. Oh, water shuriken though, stretching big trouble right now off stage used this jump but in a smart place where he wasn't really punishable for it and he could still be ambiguous with how he wants to come back right, let's see what happens here Ooh, just barely getting around that ledge trap and counter on the shadow sneak all right stretch in a position to take this if he is gaming out of his mind yeah but 112 is a lot of damage you want you see down so up crash killed the first shot it seems like he should be in right for that again right now we got the key up tilts there, getting some action started. Oh, missing the up smash right there. And 
stretch. Looking for the overhead there in case Wasabi tries to charge him from below. Oh, I like that. He's been using down air a little bit more than normal. That's something that I've seen Mr. E do a lot against the short characters. It works really well, especially because uh, Greninja Shield Grab is kind of sus. He probably won't be able to punish the down air, but either way, Wasabi keeps it on straight the whole time, saying, you know what, man, you might be in the process of making this comeback, but I'm not going to let it happen. I'm cutting that off. Yeah, and a, a lot of characters do struggle catching that down air, so it is a really great tool. So we're probably going to see a bit more of that in the upcoming game mm -hmm. from stretch because it seems like it was a good tool to catch Wasabi trying to run underneath him when stretch tried to jump. And Wasabi did try to strike stretch a lot. So let's see that let's hope we see that adaptation right there from stretch. Yeah, that downer is definitely such a good like creative answer in this matchup, but it also requires you to commit to a jump and Greninja's so good at, at dealing with that you know just back up a little bit slide in with that dash attack maybe even a down tilt um yeah. so maybe like even game come plan... up from the other side is fair like we saw right before right yeah like it's not even uh like because the move isn't good enough it's just like game plan wise jumping against Grenada is really rough but lucina is a character who really falls back on that as her default way to you know fend off pressure generate her own pressure just move around yeah, um her, her aerials are really good yeah, they are, but Greninja's good at using that against her. So um, we'll see what Wasabi's able to do here. Of course, strong player coming out of North Carolina, going up against a strong Tri-State boy. Um, I like seeing this kind of mashup, right? Like, probably wouldn't happen at a local. Who knows if they're ever going to be at the same major or meet in bracket there. Just, yeah. you know, just such a low likelihood it happens. Yeah, it's a matchup that only Wi-Fi can bring out. Right. Or at least, you know it becomes much more likely because of Wi-Fi when otherwise it really wouldn't be. Right. So it seems like we're still, still choosing a stage. This is the Little Mac team? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I've never heard this part of it. Yeah, right? Like, where, when did this bridge come in? I'm, I'm jamming. Yeah, Sam, this is a pretty good song. Background music always on point. Yeah. Little sounds. All right. Wow, Wasabi really deep in thought here when it comes to what he's about to do. Like, I don't know if it's about the stage he's going to ban or maybe a character switch, but like he just won with Greninja. And of course, it's a good matchup. So I see no reason for him to switch. I feel like, man, I wonder what I should ban. Lucina. Maybe FD, maybe Lyra. I would definitely get rid of Battlefield if I were him. That's my number one choice as a Lucina player all the time. Really? Yeah, triplats? Free. I'll just be standing under them joints poking at you. Yeah, I actually never thought about that. Ready? I'm gonna ban that against you next time. Oh, well, little did you know, I actually hate those stages, and I'm just saying that, so you do ban them. Take it away from me, you know? Like, I don't even have to worry about it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> here we go. Game number two. Was Tabi in the lead by a game? I believe they just played here. Yeah, they definitely did. Um, so running it back to PS2. Uh, Stretch saying, you know what, man? It wasn't the stage. I just had a couple key decisions that I could have made a little better, and I think I like this terrain. Yeah. A Pokeball in the middle, I resonate with that. I'm vibing with that, yeah. Speaking to me. So far, very even fight to start things off. Smart, smart Boy Wasabi not trying to swing back or air dodge to the ground after the uh, dancing plate upward. Of course, that's the thing that Lucina players love to thrive on. Yeah. And Stretch was definitely looking for that. Wow, so much movement here from Wasabi. He's left, he's right. He's kicking you in the face. Stretch, though, of course, no intention of letting this one slip through his fingers that easily. Just seeing him take his time this time around. Not rushing yeah. down at all. Oh, that actually cost him. He was a little too pensive. And as a result, Wasabi swung on him first. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Just, he's alive, yeah. I knew he had his jump, but I just thought he might have been too far. Not true. Or, like, that he would have got Hydro Pump again. Oh. And even when it doesn't confirm, 
getting popped up against Greninja, sometimes you just want to hit him on the way down, right? Like, fend that pressure off, but he'll still yeah. be under with an up smash, especially against something like we've seen as Nair that just doesn't cover below her. Yes. Greninja, as we were saying before, that character that owns a shark. Maybe a frog, but definitely a shark in this game. Absolutely. Loves to be underneath his opponents. Oh, and the whiff punish again on that down air stretch, knowing like, hey, this is one of my best answers, but it looks like Wasabi's aware of that, just trying to back up instead of, you know, swinging on or blocking against that down air. Okay, up to defend off. Yeah, just laugh now. Wasabi is doing a lot stronger than he was last game. You're seeing that mix-up game come into play. Greninja, even though he's got a slow grab, like, if you're running at them and dash attacking or down tilting for most of the game, that run-up grab is going to work once in a while. Oh, and the counter, Jesus, Wasabi on set point gear. Just one more kill, and he's going into top eight. Or, sorry, uh, is it into top eight? Yeah, I think so. It's into top eight. All right, stretch, though. Still fighting back. Stretch if you were on the screen, you can win. Stretch, not a person to give up. Always a fighter. Yeah, absolutely. Like, if there's even a slim chance that you could win, just because you're alive, like, just keep it up. Um, honestly, facing terrible odds right now, though. Down a whole stock and then 70, and then... No, that's almost that. the, st uh, the set. Yeah. Oh, almost got swiped up by the half pass. All right, off stage. Wasabi threatening with the back airs there. Just gonna hydro pump right back on though. Oh, and he backs up to catch the arc of the jump. Wow, Wasabi with some excellent gameplay there. Showing you why he's one of the best out there in North Carolina. Eliminating one of our compatriots here. The boy Stretch, Lucina yep. Wonder. Um, one of the other front runners of this character in the region. Of course, the other being Mr. E. Um, so yeah, I mean, big props to him for making it all the way to ninth place, but unfortunately that's going to be the end of his run, and also the end of the run for me and you, 